So some backstory real quick. Um, a long time ago, an injured dolphin came to a fisherman um, in this bay and the fisherman started feeding him. And I guess the dolphin told his buddies because the whole pod started visiting. And now for years, they've just been feeding fish to this whole pod every morning. And you can pay $10, like a really small fee, to feed a fish and you just sort of keep the whole thing going. It's quite a crowd here, but it's pretty neat. It's like completely up to the dolphins. They just come in every morning, they get the free fish. and they train their calves and then they go too. Down you go in front of the face and then hand up out of the water, up you come and give your person a smile. Yay! That is so cool. Thank you, Al. They're so gentle. She, all of them, even the big boys. Yeah. Very, very gentle. It's gorgeous oh, to see. Wonderful. <laughs> and kisses too. Oh, you're a good girl. Thank you so much. You're so welcome, guys. Awesome. Have the thank bestest you. day. Yeah, thank you. Oh, there's a baby. Yeah, there's her car. And that's the little sky. That was honestly really cool. That was a great way to see dolphins. Oh my gosh. So these dolphins are all wild. They're completely wild. But they've been coming to this bay, to in Tin Can Bay, which is super cute, since the 1950s. Yeah, there's an injured dolphin and a fisherman nursed him back to health. And the dolphin just decided I can get free breakfast this way. Uh huh. And so he started bringing his whole pod and then it was passed down through the dolphin generations to just keep coming. So it's almost like the dolphins train the fishermen. Oh yeah, definitely. I, it's a very cool way to see dolphins because it's not like SeaWorld or something. Or there's no captivity. captivity. Uh -uh. Yeah, I thought it was just awesome. Dolphins are my favorite animal and it was so cool to stand next to them. You can really sense their intelligence. Mm -hmm. And it's just, that was awesome. That was a really cool way to start the, uh, the morning. Yeah, definitely. But we came across the marina here to mm -hmm. this, I don't know if I'd call this a beach, but uh, we'll, we'll say beach. Mm -hmm to announce something that most of you have probably already guessed. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. We got a drone. We got a drone, you guys. <laughs> Look at this. That's Can we just take a note awesome. how smooth that was? This is like my only like, my 10th time ever flying this. This is also the fourth take. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> I not say that. <laughs> It looks so much different when it's not coming from a selfie stick, yeah. doesn't it? We've been wanting to get, we've been debating on drones forever because it's such a cool way to show perspective. So this is what we've been up to the last few days. So yeah, we got a drone. This was a massive expense. Yeah, I don't want to think about that part. <laughs> but I'm just hoping that it's going to elevate these videos. Yeah, not the, literally, the not quality. just literally. But. Oh my god, <laughs> to elevate. But uh, yeah, I, our goal is always to make these videos better and better. And I think the best advice we've ever heard is to to reinvest everything back into the channel to make it always improve, like make sure it's always improving. That's the idea. That's the idea. I feel like we should like explain where we are oh, and yeah. how we got here and what happened the last couple days. Mm -hmm. So on the last vlog, we ended showing up in the town of Rainbow Beach and the plan was to go up that beach and then take a ferry that you can take to mm -hmm. Fraser Island. Yes. But the more that we learned about it, the less like like it just wouldn't have worked out for us because yeah. the ferry tickets would have been $150, $75 a person return. Yeah, that was just if we were walking. Yeah. 
Um, it would have been more for Blueberry, but it wouldn't matter for Blueberry because Fraser Island is all 4x4 tracks. We don't want to get her stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it was just sort of poor planning on our part. So what we did yesterday instead, we just stayed at our hostel and figured out how to fly this drone. Uh huh. Because that's actually really difficult. It is so difficult. It's remarkably anxiety inducing. I had a nightmare <laughs> last night. I woke to be off at like 5 it. in the morning. I was like, I crashed the drone in my dream. I can't be doing this. But Tia's the main pilot, by the way. She's yeah. got her aviators. That's symbolism. Yeah, Trio picked them out. It's really <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right, let's get on the road. Okay. We got drinks. We got some fun drinks. In the middle of nowhere at a gas station. The fuel stations in Australia are the only place we've been that are more extensive and nicer than the US. Okay, I realize that we just <laughs> blabbered about dolphins and drones. Um, we even tell you guys where we're going today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we're heading about five and a half hours north of Tinken Bay. And I just want to take a moment to overlay this map and show you guys like we're like halfway, or what looks like we're halfway across Visually, the entire Visually it looks continent. like we've made half, about half of the circumnavigation. I don't know what it actually works out, but. I'm just gonna mark this from point. From Perth yeah. to here looks like about, which is insane. This place is huge. Anyways, that's what we're up to today. Looking at a map, it seems like after Brisbane, the towns are getting more and more spread apart. I think that gets incredibly, incredibly rural. Why is that word so hard? Rural? Just looking at the map, and I looked up population uh, numbers today for like the Northern Territory. Mm. It looks like some parts of this Northern Crossing are more desolate than the Nullarbor Crossing in the South. Like with longer stretches between stuff? Fewer people. Because that road was very busy. Yeah, that's true. It's going to be great. It's This is getting back into uh, to adventure territory. Heck yeah! Oh. things when we get car sick. So we've been driving for a couple hours, found this place to go to the bathroom. And this part of Australia is kind of unreal. It's like the perfect temperature right now, like 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and there's almost no wind, and we've only seen farm trucks for the, for the last hour. I don't know how extensive these farmlands are, but this feels really, really remote. We're in this park that's perfectly manicured, and it's just totally empty. But someone's coming here to mow the grass, and there's a little lake over there. It feels, it feels strange. What do you think? About what? This area. Oh my God. It's just so quiet and peaceful. A lot of ants in the bathroom. Oh my God, are we starting to go into bug territory? There are a lot of ants in the bathroom, yeah. Where are my flakes? Yeah, where do the, uh, the huntsman spiders live? We're very weary of that. You want to put up the drone?
back in Canberra a little while ago, we decided that we wanted to wake up earlier to preserve more daylight because it was getting dark pretty early. And um, we're actually kind of liking it. What are your thoughts, Tia? This place has free breakfast. Um, Tia's mood is drastically improved by complimentary breakfast, even if it's not good at all. I think there's just something about the... <laughs> there's something about it. Sometimes it's good. The reason why I love complimentary breakfast is because, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love our lifestyle, but oftentimes we are in a new place every single day, and then within the first hour of waking up, we have to decide where we're gonna go to get food, and for me, it's just nice to wake up and have that decision already, already done, even though sometimes the breakfast isn't that great. That's how I feel about it, at least. Chewy might be different. No, it's nice to just, it's like it feels kind of like living in a in a house in some uh -huh. ways. It's just comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Wow, those brakes are squeaky this morning. <laughs> You're giving me so much grief about complimentary breakfast and being all jazzed up about that. Where are we right now? The last time we washed blueberry was in Warrnambool. What is that, Victoria? South Australia? Around there? That was a long time ago, so she deserves it. Fraser Park. I know because there's a sign over there. <laughs> this is a place Tia saw on Google Maps. And uh, I think it looks over the town that we stayed in last night. So, check it out. Huh, apparently you can find these little guys all the way up here. Find out what they're called. Bush turkeys. I think a few people actually said that in the comments of that video. Opposed to a tree turkey? Don't all turkeys live in the bush? Do you think Australians eat them? Do you guys eat them? We eat turkeys in America. Mmm. They look kind of plump. <laughs> Our hotel was uh, over there. Yeah. Yeah, right across that the river. Good. Oh, we're in Rockhampton, by the way. I don't know if we said that. We're getting, we have to get better about doing that. But it's kind of neat. This this whole overlook makes all the buildings look like little tic tacs. One thing I think is kind of neat about Australia is there's just this town, but overlooking the rest of the valley here and the river and everything, there's almost nothing. And in most countries, a river valley like this would mm. just be just completely full of civilization, but it's just a little pocket of it. That is the best part about Australia, is how empty it is. <laughs> I mean that in a really nice way. <laughs> But do you ever drive behind someone? Like, you've got good distance behind them, but you're driving behind someone that's clearly 
not a great at what they're doing. Like, look at this guy. <laughs> He's driving in the middle of the road. We've been following him for like an hour, and he spends most of his time in the middle of the road. And I want to pass him, but I'm worried to pass him, but I also don't want to be behind him. And it's just like, this guy, this guy. <laughs> You'll never, ever see Chibio get angry or upset about anything except when we're driving and someone either cuts him off or someone is not what, driving like they should be. It's irritating. Ah. <laughs> Blueberries got some goat juice. It's been this flat, pretty much farmland for the last 100 or 200 miles and there's no service. So the only thing I've been doing is watching out the window for these really incredibly, like, some of them are kind of passive aggressive signs that tell us to slow, make sure that we're taking our coffee breaks and make sure we're resting. Some of them are like, well, you got a long ways to go or hey kids, not there yet. Some stuff like that. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be <laughs> uh, encouraging, but I think it's like, Definitely having the opposite effect. I don't know, what do you think? I think they're taking the piss out of us. <laughs> what a sugar cane. Yeah, there's a ton of sugar cane. I need to go to the bathroom. I stopped like 20 minutes. <laughs> no, I need to go. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now, Tia, what is this? No, there's not. <laughs> No, no. There's not a... Is this... <laughs> so this is the big sugar cane toad. To be honest, I really thought I had escaped these because I knew there was a bunch between Sydney and Brisbane, but Tia didn't do it to me at all. So I figured I was safe because it was getting more rural north of Brisbane over the last several days. But here we are. Buffy the Toad. Do you ever scale? Oh, there's roses. Oh, wow. You're... There she is, there's Tia. Tia's actually almost as big. Like you're almost as tall. You're can I, taller. Can I tell you the story of the toad? Okay, what's is, the story? This is like, I just read the plaque. It's the most whirlwind of a story of the, the, the sugarcane toad. So they were introduced a while back to help control the beetle population that was attacking the sugarcane. So they brought over. Turns out they did not do their job. They spread like crazy all over Australia. They're poisonous. They're killing local domestic animals and they don't know what to do about it. They have a monument to <laughs> They these? have a monument! This might be the most ridiculous big thing. <sighs> it seems Australia, I love Australians, to be clear, I love Australia and Australians, but you guys have introduced a lot of invasive species. <laughs> Seriously. Can we actually go get something to eat though? Yeah, yeah. We got burgers and chips with chicken salt on them. Yeah, I think we're obsessed officially with chicken salt now. And we came back to this uh, this little park next to that frog to eat. Her name is Buffy. Her name's really Buffy? Yeah. I'm sorry. Buffy. Gosh. I know you mentioned that we missed a few of them. And that was definitely intentional because I don't want to go to all of them. The whole point for me is to see, is to get to you agitated. <laughs> Rile them up and then surprise, big thing, you know? Yeah. That's great, that's great. I think that's just like what's fun about this road trip in general is that like too much of one thing just kind of like takes the magic out of it for me. I like that these mm. like are just sprinkled out across like the whole road trip. Just like beaches here and there, or mountains or hikes or restaurants or big things. It's just like we don't do too much of one of them. It's just like a smattering of... Ruins the magic. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. So that's why we're at Buffy and it was quite the magical day. Holy smokes! Did you see this? Wow, why is yours like twice the size of mine? <laughs> you got like a baby burger. What is this? That's just bread. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what the heck? Did they forget to put something in mine? No. Oh no, there's... The 
sugar cane fields were truly, really, really neat. So I think we're gonna try to find some place to pull over and show you guys a better, a better view of it. Us. I think our rooms are getting smaller and smaller the more north we're going. <laughs> Hear me out, okay? This room, $42 a night. Cheapest room we've had in Australia. Cheaper even than I think one of the hotels we stayed at in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So, we have a bed and a refrigerator and Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, Ow. that's... Uh, I was going to say it's soft, but it's not... <laughs> I'm happy with it. Mm -hmm. We're oh. in, where are we? We're Arley Beach. Arley? 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 We heard from this place from the sweetest lady at the camera store the other day, and she just raved so much about it that, like, put a pin on her map, and that's where we ended up. Today. Yeah, a few Instagram messages, too. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we have big plans tomorrow. We're officially on the Great Barrier Reef. That's so, any... thanks, uh, some plans, you know. For tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for coming with us, you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe! Update from two hours in the future. We did laundry, but the dryers were broken, so Tia got creative. I think I spruced up the place a bit, just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you, too.